Welcome back to another deck book, guys. Today we are doing the Boys in Black Metal Borgs. So for our starter, we're running Black Boy because obviously he's the coolest DP starter. Moving on to our trigger lineup, we're running six draw, four draw PGs, and two regular draws. So the reason we're running six draw is because we need that draw advantage as much as possible in this deck. Anything that can help us mitigate the cost of Brad Black is very helpful, and we need to draw into our pieces or else we're gonna have a problem. After that, we're running six crits because you need that pressure to close out the game. And honestly, if you wanna run seven crit, five draw, you can. I just find six draw, six crit works better for me. And of course, four heals. Next up for our grade one lineup, we're running four die brave. We're running him for draw advantage, but he also has the nice addition of being able to give our vanguard plus 5k. And sometimes we need just 5k to get over the power requirements of certain cards to be able to activate their skills. So he is really helpful for that as well, but we're mainly running him for the draw advantage. Speaking of draw advantage, we're running four quill because we can use all that open CB that we're not gonna use for most of the game to draw extra cards, which is really good for this deck, especially since our Vanguard swings multiple times and that draw skill is not limited to once per turn. And then as well, she has kind of a backup power plus for our Vanguard. So normally you're not gonna wanna discard a card for her on place and give a plus 10 because you wanna keep cards in hand. But if you're going for your final turn or you need that 10K badly to meet a power requirement, you have that as an extra bonus of Quilt as well. Finishing off our grade one slot, we run three Twin Order. Twin Order is a backup. If we can't get to our power requirements, Twin Order is gonna allow us to make our Vanguard huge. You could get away with running two, but I like running three because that guarantees that no matter what cards I get, I'm gonna be able to get my Vanguard to the power requirements for the various cards that we have in this deck. So jumping into our grade two lineup, we're running four Urbuster. And the reason we're doing that is because he gives us retire in the grade two game, rush in the grade two game, and then as well, multi-attacking, which we'll go into later with Sin Buster. So you gotta run four of this guy. Like just the fact that if you end up with two of these in your hand, you're gonna retire two of your opponent's rear guards and have two 20K units on your grade two turn. It's actually pretty scary, especially since you'll use that soul and then you'll end up getting it back later and you won't use all of it for other effects anyway. So you're gonna be perfectly fine. Next up, we run four Die Dragon and we're running him because he can easily give that extra plus 5K we need to our van to meet those pirate requirements, just like Die Brave can. And then he's also gonna get a plus 10K power boost just for doing what our deck already does, making him extremely threatening. After that, we're running four Platinum Ace because he gets a crit and a power boost for simply doing what our deck already does. And the big numbers we can get to with our front row column in this deck just makes Platinum Ace even more threatening. And the most exciting part of any DP build, the grade three lineup. So first we're running four Brad Black, super good. We're gonna be able to give our front row power for just using its skill. And then we're gonna be able to get a, another ride and another attack. We do get drive minus one, but it doesn't really matter considering what we're doing. And with some of the next cards we're gonna talk about, you're gonna see how much more pressure we can put on with this card. And the best part about Brad Black, hands down, is that if you go second, you're not at a disadvantage anymore. So of course you can't have a Metal Warp deck without his boss card, Sin Buster. He's super good. So we're gonna use him to get five attacks in a turn. You're gonna swing with your rear guard, you swing with Brad Black, then you're gonna superior ride into Sin Buster, call an Ur Buster on place over the rested unit, pay its cost, give it plus 10K, retire one of your opponent's units. Not only do we get the five attacks in one turn, but we also get to retire one of your opponent's rear guards and then get another 20K attack after we're already swinging for 30 to 40K with one attack and then 30 to 40K with the other attack plus a crit because of Platinum Ace on himself. So it's a really pressuring turn and it's really good. And then with all the draws and stuff we have in this deck, and then Sin Buster being able to give us free units, we can easily push for a game. And our spicy two tech, Greto. Dayusha. Dayusha is really great in these situations by allowing us to get four drives in one turn, or we can use him with Brad Black if we don't have a Sin Buster in our hand to superior ride him and give our front row another 10K on top of the 10K we already have from Brad Black, allowing us to swing for 40K or higher or 50K or higher with various units we have in the deck. Make sure to stand up that like button if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe for all our notifications. And as always guys, let the wind blow.